Nerdy Sports Fan here with the Thursday Night Football Breakdown. Now, this was a close game for most of the game, and it's kind of what we expected. They're relatively evenly matched teams. The real story here is the coaching situations on either side. Pete Carroll is going through another rebuild of the roster, and not a lot of people expected much out of this Seattle team. But the defense is playing far better, and the offense came together in spite of some inaccuracy issues from Russell Wilson. They still held on to some solid core players in Russell Wilson and um, Bobby Wagner, in spite of turning over a lot of the rest of the roster. And um, they look poised to do some things. They may make the playoffs this year, and they're setting the foundation so they can go into further seasons with a retooled roster. Um, exactly the opposite on the other side. McCarthy doesn't look like he's been able to consistently put together a team around Aaron Rodgers. When you have a talent like Rodgers at the quarterback position, you have to maximize it. And that's something you see in New England, where they're always tweaking the roster, doing what they can to really take advantage of what's really a short window for a franchise to have a fantastic quarterback like that. Maybe it's a function of Green Bay uh, having such a great luck. I mean, they, they had Brett Favre and then right into Aaron Rodgers. They're a franchise that really hasn't known the lows of not knowing who your quarterback is in such a long time. Yeah, maybe they're resting on their laurels. Who knows? Uh, it could be a function of their market with uh, the Ted Thompson years there. they really doing everything they can to just make sure they can afford to be in Green Bay still. You know, Green Bay owns the team. They're stuck there. So um, they got to do what they can. I don't, I don't know exactly what's going on there roster-wise, but they haven't fielded a great team around Rodgers consistently. They're trying to put stopgap solutions with Jimmy Graham in at tight end. They're not really using him. He's getting hurt. And, uh, you know, Aaron Jones is coming on, doing really, really well at the running back position the past few weeks. And you hear that Rodgers was pointing that out, like, hey, man, we got to get him the ball. The offense is starting to do that now, but it's not enough. So there's something wrong. You can't quite put your finger on it. Usually when it's something like that going on, the coach gets the axe. And after the amount of time that McCarthy's had there, that's really where this is going. The game, you know, is what the game was. You kind of figured that all of the Green Bay passing yards were going to go to Adams. He had himself a fantastic game. He really looked like the number one wide receiver that he's going to get paid like going forward. And on the Seattle side... You know, Russell had some inaccuracy issues, but they really leaned on the running game with Carson. Penny had some great runs as well, and nobody can keep up with Taylor Lockett. As a return man, he was a real speed demon. They've transitioned him into receiver quite well. I mean, they're giving him the kind of route combinations that can really take advantage of that top-end speed, and uh, he's not getting double-teamed yet. He might going forward, but... I don't know, he, he's, not, he's not that threatening to defenses where you think they're going to key in on him. Now, speaking of defenses, Mike Pettin's defense is looking great. It looks like he's auditioning for another head coaching gig after McCarthy gets the axe there in Green Bay. Um, he's turning no-name players into stars, getting his defense moving around, causing a lot of pressure. I mean, Russell Wilson was running away from them most of the game, and if it wasn't for his legs and his ability to run away well, it might have gone the other way here. Um, but yeah, uh, the real story again here is McCarthy's on the way out, and <laughs> Pete Carroll on the other side has done quite well with retooling this uh, offense and defense and setting them up for the future. Now, there's not much else to say, so if you like the content, Please like and subscribe. Hit me up on my Instagram so you can get the fantasy football pick of the week. And, as always, enjoy yourselves out there. We'll see you next week.